A lot of the guys that I first started skating with, it was good for me because I was a young guy and I could sort of watch their mistakes and they would teach me lessons, taught me how to keep my mouth shut and just skate and not get stuck into partying too much. It's just always way more relaxing to come back here and I know I'm only an hour away from the city and I can get a train up or whatever, get a lift up to the city and skate with everyone whenever I need. Everyone, everyone in Melbourne thinks it's like such a big deal like to drive so far or to Geelong like it's they think it's a complete another world but it's really not that bad. Yeah so that element board up there was the first board I ever got in the mail from Element. I just kept it in the plastic because it's got written on the back like welcome to the team um, and it's like there's plenty more where that came from and <laughs> so I was just like real stoked on it. That was the best day of my life, right there. <laughs> Went to the States for the finals and that's how it all started. Always wanted, like, you know when you're little, I used to like watch the Globe World Cup and like when Sheckler was real little, he had like the huge check, like his had like thousands of dollars on it, but I was like, yeah, one day I gotta get one of those. So I'll go show you guys the spot I used to skate when I first started, just across the road, <laughs> there's a church. This was the, uh, the stomping ground. Learn a trick down the two and then take it to the big boy. I tried to like gap 50-50 this. And it's like the worst thing. I just got pitched. Oh. This is Geelong Waterfront Skate Park. It's usually the the warm-up spot or the meet-up spot every on weeknights or sometimes on the weekends. There actually, surprisingly, was a pretty big skate scene. Like when I started skating, um, like all the local parks that I would go to, uh, there were a lot of older guys there that would sort of teach me and like, like took me in as their young like apprentice kind of. And yeah, there's, it, the skate scene was like popping off for a while. Uh, this is the famous waterfront eight stair with my, my first Bondo job, I think. Not too bad. Definitely used to skate this every weekend. Just huck down this all day. Yeah, Geelong's most famous spot, probably. Just blend in. I'll show you, this is, this is the first handrail over here. It's crazy that it's still like that, but they used to have like, screws holding them in and we took them out and slid them up like this and would jam like sticks and stuff under here so they wouldn't fall off but then every attempt they would like slide down and you have to try again so this is warm pond skate park uh one of the first parks i started skating at yeah this is where i'd come and like all the really all the skaters that i thought were really good and looked up to would skate here and i would sit back and watch and Uh, so this is the park, Geelong Indoor Skate Park. Um, it's actually a family business. It's a pretty cool place to come and skate whenever we need. <laughs> Mum and Dad decided to open this place because they realised that there was nowhere else like this in Geelong or anywhere near that any other good parks to skate when it's raining or at night time or whatever, so it's a pretty cool thing to have. My name's Sam Atkins, I'm 19 years old and I'm from Geelong, Victoria. 